This is an unboxing of the new Bad Bad Not Good album 4. This came in the mail today. I am very excited to open this up and take this to town on my setup. Um, among the releases that I own from them are 3 and Sour Soul. There might be some other uh, EPs that they've released on vinyl, and well, I really want to get a hold of them, but um, as of now, I have three from the band, and I'm really excited to own this right off the bat, and something I've been seeing from the band is the use of color, as opposed to the black and white that they've had on Sour Soul 3 um, and uh, their other releases. Uh, the baby blue and the photo of them in the towel is uh, <laughs> kind of amusing uh, when you you know contrast that from their other releases in which they're wearing you know pig masks and uh, it looks like something off of Hotline Miami. Uh, in the lower left hand corner of the front of the album is the track listing uh, which I could not focus on uh, so I apologize for that but on the back is the four title and um, again just with that that light yellow color that really mellow and uh, chill vibe that you're getting from this album which is really nice um, so I'm really hoping again I haven't listened to the full thing aside from the singles uh, of this album and uh, those singles I do enjoy uh, so I'm really hoping to take this to town and I'm really hoping the vibe carries through uh, on the inner gatefold we have a picture of the band members, Matthew Alexander Chester and the newest member, uh, Leland. I'm not sure which order those are in, so uh, please do not hate on me for not knowing and being a huge fan, like you may be. But, but I am a huge fan. I, have, I did get to see them live last year at FYF, which um, their sound was just really off. Uh, in the venue that they were placed in, I saw D'Angelo and the Vanguard at FYF, and they had a much better uh, performance, not performance, but sound, and um, with Bad Bad Not Good, the reverb in the venue that they were placed in just wasn't so good. Uh, but getting back to the, um, the record, the labels here are pretty basic, um, you know, just showing the track listings on it, and uh, some production credits as well. Um, I do like the past release, their past releases, the labels on them a little bit better. I mean, they didn't really show much, but they did have a little bit more character, um, as far as what was on the vinyl itself. Uh, Vinyl Me Please did release a red vinyl of this album, and I was almost going to subscribe to it for that release. Uh, but Amazon had already sent this out. Uh, I didn't want to deal with any subscription fees or deal with having to return it back to Amazon. So I didn't even bother with it. Um, but it did look like a nice set from Vinyl Me Please. So you may want to consider getting that. Um, I am really happy with the artwork overall with this release. Um, but again, if you're just looking for a little bit more character on the vinyl, uh, something a little bit more fun that matches the actual artwork, you know, with that blue, that yellow, you may want to get something from Vinyl Me Please, which I hear a lot of people are really happy with as far as the releases they've had so far. Um, again, just on the back and the front, just production credits and the uh, song listings as well. But uh, I think that just about wraps it up for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also have an unboxing of the new Avalanche's record Wildflower in which I will be posting up this weekend. Um, so please go and watch that as well as the other videos that I have of the record unboxings and sneakers. And I want to start bringing more to this channel. So please like, comment, and subscribe to watch more vids of the stuff that I love. Peace.